hunker down. Nothing good is on the way. For decades, America has been running in the wrong direction, and our leaders have been making incredibly foolish decisions. No, it's their employers making those decisions. 1.9 trillion dropped onto the economy will just result in the USA needing yet another 1.9 trillion within six months. The US economy is addicted to government stimulus and will be until the day it overdoses on fiat and flatlines. Tax the living out of anything that moves to pay for this boondoggle. And if it doesn't move, tax the living out of whoever owns it. Catastrophic increases in business tax rates, a massive gas tax increase, and a decrease in deductions. Meanwhile, some subsidies to the green industry. They will soon run out of our money and other people's stuff. The national debt rose by $7.8 trillion during the last four years. The Greater Depression has begun. The debt is beyond repayment anyway. Just print them. The US dollar is monopoly money now. Who is going to want to lend money, services, or goods to Americans going forward? And don't give me the cleanest shirt at the laundry analogy, we were a country founded on enforceable laws, and we have cast that tradition and necessity aside for expediency and political gain. In the daisy chain of who owes who what scenario we are currently sinking in, the question arises as to where the buck stops. It stops with the economic viability of our country to conduct normal capitalistic business day to day. A very dangerous precedent has been set that will set us back as a country to the wild, wild west mode of lawless operations. The guy or gal with the biggest stick or bravado will rule. The debt collapse is here. Plan accordingly, but there is no guidebook for a collapse of this magnitude. We need to get rid of the parties that self-servingly put us here out of greed for power, money or via sheer economic stupidity. The Federal Reserve System already bankrupt. Happened in 2008. Stagflation and growing inequality are likely to be our future. Complete collapse is headed our way. The game is over. Prepare accordingly. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. US debt is almost 28 trillion. The federal plus state's government budget is almost 50% of GDP. Yet we want to give 2.2 trillions more to people to do nothing. This is not an American dream, but a dreaming America. The US will collapse like the Soviet Union. All part of the Great Reset. You have to destroy everything for it to work, and I mean everything, elections, finances, businesses, more lockdowns coming, medical, borders and the constitution and more, all of it is being destroyed right before your very eyes. Put it another way, the US cannot afford to provide Medicare, Social Security, and health, and like Japan, the US cannot afford a normal interest rate of 5%, 2-3% real growth plus 2-3% inflation making 5% nominal GDP growth equal to the 10-year treasury. 30 trillion in debt times 5% interest equals 1.5 trillion equals another 90 billion in interest. Which means the US cannot afford Medicare, Social Security, Health, Income Security, Agriculture, and Education. All of these are socialist policies. The US government ran the biggest December budget deficit in history last month. The December budget shortfall came in at $143.6 billion. That compares with a $13.3 billion deficit in December 2019, according to the monthly Treasury statement. Spending continues to drive the ballooning budget deficits. Receipts were actually up 3% year-on-year in December but outlays exploded by 40% year-on-year. Uncle Sam spent $490 billion in a single month. Just three months into fiscal 2021, the federal government has already blown through over $1.3 trillion. In the first quarter of fiscal 2021, the US government ran a deficit of over half a trillion dollars, $572.9 billion. In other words, in a mere three months, Uncle Sam has pushed the deficit over halfway to $1 trillion. Before last year, the federal government had only run annual $1 trillion deficits four times, all during the Great Recession. As of January 12, the national debt stood at $27.697 trillion. According to the National Debt Clock, the debt-to-GDP ratio stands at 130.57%. 
They print money to keep their asset prices going ever higher while we fight over the scraps that escape their clutches. We spend all of our time scurrying about to pay off debts and taxes that never end. They need investors to flood the bond market to finance as much of this as possible. Fed does not want to keep monetizing during the election cycle. Those people will get sucked out of stocks. Big market crash ahead. One that will eclipse 1929. The tree will get shaken, and every monkey eating fruit since 2010 is going to fall. Even grizzled veterans will be ruined. Those holding treasuries or cash will be wiped out. The trigger will be lockdowns coming back. If they shut the doors again, the market will collapse. Despite the lack of concern in the mainstream, debt has consequences. Studies have shown that a debt-to-GDP ratio of over 90% retards economic growth by about 30%. This throws cold water on the Republican mantra we can grow ourselves out of debt. Most people shrug off these massive deficits, reasoning that they are simply a product of the economic problems caused by the virus. But the pandemic has papered over an ugly truth, the federal government was getting into near-record deficit territory before the pandemic arrived on the scene. In fiscal 2019, the Trump administration ran a $984 billion deficit. At the time, it was the fifth largest deficit in history. The upward trajectory continued through the first two months of fiscal 2020, with the budget shortfall running 12% over 2019's huge number before the pandemic hit the U.S. The government's response to the pandemic put the borrowing and spending on hyperdrive. And there is no sign that it will end anytime soon. President-elect Joe Biden is expected to unveil another stimulus bill in the trillions. With Democrats controlling Congress and the White House, it seems likely that the spending pace will increase in 2021, not slow down. Big deficits have another pernicious effect on the economy, they drive inflation. The Federal Reserve makes all of this borrowing and spending possible by backstopping the bond market and monetizing the debt. The central bank buys U.S. treasuries on the open market with money created out of thin air, debt monetization. This creates artificial demand for bonds and keeps interest rates low. All of this new money gets injected into the economy, driving inflation higher. The Fed expanded the money supply by record amounts in 2020. Even with the incredible amount of quantitative easing the Fed is engaged in today, Many analysts expect another $3 trillion deficit in 2021 with additional stimulus spending needed to prop up the economy in the aftermath of the pandemic. According to Bank of America analysis, the Fed will need to double QE in 2021 just to keep up with the government's projected debt issuance. The official budget deficit is nothing compared to the hundreds of trillions of digital funny money circulating the planet and burying everyone deeper and deeper in debt. This sheet show doesn't have much time left. The more money the Fed creates, the more inflationary pressure mounts. But as long as the federal government continues to borrow and spend, the Fed can't stop monetizing the debt. If it does, interest rates will spike. That's a non-starter given the piles of debt in the economy, not just government, but also corporate and consumer debt. Rising inflation pushes interest rates up, forcing the Fed to continue its inflationary monetary policy to hold rates down. We are heading toward an inflationary holocaust. It's going to be a death spiral of inflation where the more inflation we get, the more inflation the Fed is forced to create. In effect, this is a massive tax on the American people. Instead of taking money directly from you, the Fed steals the purchasing power of your money in a stealthy inflation tax. In a nutshell, debt is neither free, nor is it irrelevant. Borrowed money has to be paid back. The debt-based Ponzi was baked into the cake at Bretton Woods. Nixon put it on hyperdrive in 1971. The national debt must double every eight years regardless of who is in office or the Ponzi collapses. In 2008 credit creation peaked, and the rate of credit growth hit zero demand for credit was insufficient to pull debt forward, the system had its first heart attack. The central banks have been pumping liquidity into our near-dead moribund economy ever since. There has been no real growth since 2008 if nominal GDP is corrected for true inflation. The crisis was brought on in 2019 because the cadaveric economy was starting to decompose, the economy was put into a medically induced coma and deep freeze to slow the decay. The stock markets are in melt-up as currencies are being destroyed and the wealthy look for safe havens. Positive interest rates accumulate capital negative interest rates destroy capital. 
The world is in its wily e. coyote moment, in midair, waiting for the descent to commence. Klaus Schwab, predictive programming's Dr. Evil, and his gang of self-appointed masters of the world are foisting the Great Reset, in an attempt to organ harvest the cadaveric economic system and their ill-gotten wealth before the body stench requires cremation. As food production collapses, the vaccines are introduced to accelerate the decomposition sufficient to ensure sufficient caviar and lobster for Schwab et al. While the rest of us slowly starve to death on roach milk and grasshopper chips. I'm not being sarcastic, and I'm not being hyperbolic. And it's nothing to joke about. Our progeny are going to suffer lives of poverty and servitude unless we adults put an end to the evil usurious monetary system now in place. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.